Oh, how's it going, everyone? Justin with Sweet Stingers on the Napier. I just wanted to uh, take a moment and introduce myself and uh, share a little bit about who we are, what we're doing, um, um, you know, maybe where where we're headed and stuff. So uh, we're Oklahoma-based uh, beekeeping company. No, I'm not uh, commercialized. I don't chase flows. I don't uh, pollinate almonds or anything of that nature. I'm not palletized. Uh, our main thing is keeping bees for people that uh, want bees around uh, without becoming beekeepers. Um, and there's a tremendous amount of people that uh, enjoy bees, um, that need bees, um, but they don't know anything about them. They don't want to do anything about them. They don't, they, you know, they're busy and stuff, and that's just kind of where we fit in. Uh, when I uh, decided to expand, um, into uh, more highs and stuff. I, I just have a, a regular house in a neighborhood. I needed uh, out yards and I don't have the mindset of treat, 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 feed, 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 shipping bees all over the United States and all that. So uh, I started searching for people that just wanted bees. Um, over the course of probably oh, a year and a half, um, we started uh, social media, mainly Instagram, growing pretty good. And I appreciate all our followers out there. Um, we're a little over 18,000 right now on Instagram. Uh, we're climbing on Facebook as well. And uh, we have, uh, I think like 160 uh, YouTube guys. So yeah, we appreciate you guys too. Uh, you know, um, our main things is the reason why our videos are up and down is IGTV, Instagram, uh, obviously. Uh, that's where our main bulk of followers are, but uh, it, it feeds into our Facebook account and, you know, we, we push it over to, to YouTube as well. So we, we appreciate all the followers. We never had any plans of ever doing anything social media. It's kind of like I use it for a journal. I can go back and see different flows, different plants blooming, uh, what we're doing in our hives, how things are progressing. Uh, we started sharing it, people started liking it, they comment, uh, and uh, we kept it going. Uh, we don't plan on quitting. Uh, we enjoy doing it. I do at least. There's a lot of a lot of learning to, to beekeeping for people that want to want to beekeep. And I have a lot of people that don't have bees, they just you know, like to learn something about bees. And, and learn how to cook with some honey and different recipes and stuff like that. So uh, there's a lot of good uh, content on social media, uh, but social media also has, uh, you know, it's all the nice and everything, you know, pretty people and awesome photos and highly edited videos. Uh, you know, um, you're not getting that here. Uh, I, I don't, I don't do that. I'm a beekeeper. I'm a landscaper. Uh, I mess with plants and stuff, uh, videos and pictures, um, that nature is not, not my thing. I don't, I don't, I'm not a photographer. Uh, I'm not gonna hire it out either. Um, so, you know, I try to take good, good pictures, but uh, I'm not the, the shiny account or anything of that nature. I try to keep it real. And that's what I hope you guys, you guys get. Um, I definitely know, you know, when I do take some good photos every now and again, and the engagement rate definitely increases on those. So I, I know that there's a lot more that are just attracted to the, the, the photos and it, things like that um, versus the actual message or, or the lesson or whatever what we're doing, uh, which is fine. Uh, that's social media for you. So, uh, you know, we definitely have a lot of uh, love out there. We appreciate you guys. We definitely get a lot of hate. Uh, we try to keep the comments deleted it uh, as they come in we definitely get our spam that's what people are are they do on, on social media uh, quite frankly it sucks I hate it but uh, whatever you know it's got nothing better to do with your time so be it uh, you're not bothering me yeah you, know, you know that's just that's just some a little bit about uh, you know us uh, am I ever gonna go Full time in this, I, I, I don't know. Uh, basically, the best way to describe us is uh, large scale backyard beekeeping. Uh, most of my apiaries are just a handful of hives. Uh, I do have, a, have out yards that are we call a grow yard. Uh, there are hundreds to thousands of acres uh, that we can take our splits out, grow. Uh, we made our queens out there. Um, 
Uh, they're kind of holding yards uh, and stuff, and then we break them apart and push them out into people that want them. We can't keep bees at everybody that asks us. Uh, we're at 50 properties already. Uh, we're kind of nearing our, our, our limits. We're in talks with a couple of others. Um, you know, how far we're going to go, I'm not, not for sure. I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy keeping the hives like this. I, I think it's beneficial, um, but that's just that's what we do. That's what we're we're known for. I'm not uh, one that's that's heavy feed, 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 treat, treat, treat mindset. Um, we leave honey on the hives uh, for them, and I, I limit the feeding as much as possible. And as far as treating, we we try to use more natural uh, things, brood breaks. Um, taking the queen away, um, rearing new queens, uh, artificial swarming. We do use a uh, product called uh, Mighty Mite uh, Thermal Treatment. Uh, it is currently not available. Uh, when it's going to be available, I have no idea. Uh, it's, it's thermal treatment. Uh, it helps kill our, our, our mites in our hives. Um, but, uh, you know, for the most part, I, I try to let our bees take care of themselves. Uh, when we started, uh, the, the sweet stinger side of everything about five years ago uh, I didn't want people to take my word for it I wanted um, people to take other people's words for it and so the backyards you know they they spread it around to their friends and families and it, and it grew and our name grew and and that's how you know they see what we're doing to our hives and inside the hives um, you know they spread it and they know hey they're not in here behind a closed gate dumping massive amounts of syrup in the hives or or just constantly medicating them or anything of that nature so it's not us it's never has been so you know that's just uh kind of who we are uh, what we do around here you know is as far as the social media yeah we've been in paid partnerships with with companies uh we've been sponsored by people uh, we get donations uh, to help us out. Uh, we never ask for anything. Uh, we appreciate everybody that has done it. We love working with different companies if it's one that fits our our style and and what we think is is going forward the way that we like. Um, you know, so uh, we do use it. Uh, we can make money out of it, but it's not my primary purpose. Uh, uh, I keep the social media you know to hopefully help others, but also as a log of what we're doing in our bee yards and um, you know try to get my kids out as much as I can uh, I like I like showing them around I like showing other people around us and, and, and things of that nature so you know if you guys ever have anything that you want to see or you want more in depth on let me know uh, we appreciate all you guys uh, you know even the haters out there hey whatever um, so be it uh, you know I can I can deal with you it's not a big deal um, but uh, you know we definitely get it uh, but I think for the most part uh, the majority of people uh, you know they're they're happy they like it they keep uh, telling us you know hey don't don't stop you know keep bringing the lessons so you know I'm gonna keep doing it there's a lot to bees and things so we'll keep making uh, little videos here and there as well uh, to get them up but uh, that's just a little bit who we are uh, what we're about and uh, you know hopefully we can show other people you don't have to have massive land and big trucks and all this fancy barns and machines and stuff like that I do it in my garage I do it off of a table saw I build a lot of my equipment and uh, you know we keep bees out outside of our our land I mean it's just uh, other people's lands so um, you know think outside the box and uh, you can get uh, going it doesn't all have to be palletized running bees all over the place massive apiaries and all that stuff uh, to make a, a good good thing about it uh, you know our, our bees are self-sustaining we're a self-sustaining company we bring in a little bit of queens uh, here and there but not very many and you know our bees make money and we just put it back into them and you know they just constantly think I'm not a full-time beekeeper uh, it, it, will I ever go full time? I'm, I'm not very sure. That's you know, that's in God's hands. If He wants to do it, uh, we'll do it. Uh, you know, it's it. That's all. I, I haven't I haven't decided if I ever if I want to go full time. 
and it's uh, I like I like what we're doing. Uh, we're almost around 300 hives, and it's kind of it's getting it, it's busy. It's very busy out in the yards, but uh, so uh, we we appreciate everybody though. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, you want to see anything special or answer anything, let us know. Uh, we'll do our best to get them up there, uh, get your questions to it and everything. So we appreciate all you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for chiming in, sharing us. Uh, thanks for all of our great customers for supporting us. Uh, we can't do it without you. Um, and we uh, will catch you on the next one. See ya.